The show is so intense. Yes. Have you found that, that playing this part has affected your life outside of shooting? It has definitely. It's 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 inspired me. It's it's gotten me more more uh, active in uh, activism. <laughs> yeah. And but also, you know, the thing that has really impacted my life is I used to really love going to haunted houses, uh, with like you know the ones where they jump sure. out and scare you. Yeah, and yeah. now after working on season two of Westworld, I'm completely desensitized. I don't get scared of anything anymore. I'm around like dead bodies and blood and stuff and guts all day. And now when I go to haunted houses, I'm like, yeah, well, I don't know. I can kind of see the mask coming up. And I think this prosthetic needs to be shined a little more. It's looking a little rubbery. And like, can we just get some? It's bad. It's, it's, that's the thing I'm so about. I feel like part, I feel like some of your life, Don, could be an episode of West, Westworld. Like, it's all, it's so. <laughs> Because you hear that when you get do a show like this, you get given these packets on people's lives, and your life is so incredible. Tell me, is this true? You once left home to buy a pack of cigarettes, and you ended up in Hawaii. <laughs> that that is true. And uh, how how is how does that even happen? It, it, <laughs> I love it. Per perfectly perfectly normal situation. You know, I. Uh, I went down to the liquor store to get a pack of cigarettes. I ran into a friend of mine. He says, hey, listen, uh, I got a buddy who's got a private plane, and he's going to Hawaii. Let's go. And I said, well, I don't have anything. He says, you can buy a bathing suit in Hawaii. That's all you need. So I left. <laughs> and I came back about three weeks later, and I walked in the door of my house where my girlfriend was. And uh, <laughs> by, by the, this is pre-cell phones. You know, you just can't sure. get in touch with anybody. And, you know, I didn't even really think about that. And I. <laughs> I walked in and she said, so, uh, where'd you have to go for those cigarettes? <laughs> and I told her Hawaii. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Oh. Have you ever been involved in such an escapade? Actually, yes. I mean, I, you know, I am. I'm so boring. I, I, am... <laughs> I was a bit of a wild child, a bit of a little heavy metal girl there for no. a second. And I, <laughs> yeah, no. I know, shocking, I know. Um, and I do recall, um, uh, just one day going to a Slayer concert and then ending up on the bus somewhere in Sacramento. <laughs> With no even... No plan. Yeah, no, it was like, hey, do you want to just come on the bus? Sure. sure. And then next thing I know, I, I have no idea where I am and I'm very tired. <laughs> do, do you know where you started? Yes. <laughs> that's all that's, that's, you're already up on some of Don Johnson's that, stories. That, that, that's you're true. You're way ahead of me. That's I mean, true. Because Miami Vice, back there, was just the, the biggest show in the world, and you played a narcotics officer on the show, mm. and is this true, that um, <laughs> President Reagan uh, once asked your advice on drug policy? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> being a hair club member... Sure. <laughs> And, and a crime fighter. I, I'm the natural choice. Of course. Um, so so I, I was at the White House. I'd been invited there. It was the first time I was there. And it was a state dinner. And I was standing in a group of people. And I was already really impressed that I was at the White House and talking to Dan Rather and so on and so forth. And this aide came up to me and said, Mr. Johnson, um, the president would like to see you. I burst out laughing. <laughs> Come on! No, really, the president wants to see you. So I, I went over and I started talking to Dutch. Because yeah. now we're on a first name sure. basis. And, um, and uh, he's ta asking me about... He wants to talk about the movies, you know, and he's yeah. telling me about his films and stuff like that. And I'm going, wow, don't you have a country to run or something? Yeah. <laughs> we're just standing yeah. here shooting the breeze. And then he says, listen, uh, it, it seems like you have a lot of experience with these, uh, with these drugs. And I went, and how, brother? <laughs> And he You're joking, said, I just got back from Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, um, what, do you, what do you think about this war on drugs that we have? And I said, I think we've lost. I said, you should legalize everything. That was the end of the conversation. Yeah.